two. <laughs> this is driving me nuts. Uh, this will be the second part of the Pokemon stream tonight. Hopefully it works out okay. I, I don't know what's going on with my connection nowadays. I really don't. I wish I did, but I really don't. Um, it is such a pain. It is such a pain. It's crazy. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah. All right, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, anyway, moving on. I can't join any of these. We got into this one. I hope. need to name him. Ivan? You want me to name him Ivan? Heracross? <laughs> Alright. Ivan. <laughs> oh, you got like a Venusaur gang going on here. Ivan Drogo. Oh! Now, I like Drago better than Ivan, though. I'm being totally honest. Hey, Terry. Uh, doing okay. Wrestling with my connection tonight. Wrestling with an ear infection. <laughs> All around wrestling, but hanging in there. How's your night going? You know what I just realized? When I use this mic, you get left and right. Hello? Hello! Well, <laughs> the boot. Just do it! <laughs> MaChamps.com 
I never thought I'd see the day where online advertising and bots has entered a Pokemon game. I didn't have that back in my day. Just saying. <laughs> Come on. Again, back in the day, we didn't have Pokemon as an MMO. That's true. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. Ooh, what's that? Is that a lantern? Or is that a... No, that's a... Uh... This is a catfish Pokemon. I can never remember its name. Um... Water and ground. Water and ground. Um, Whiz Cash, that's it. Where's my Leafy on it? I, I never, I still haven't organized this thing. I mean, like, seriously, I keep wanting to, but I still have it. You know what? Why don't we use Slow King? I don't think I've ever used Slow King before. Just for the hell of it. Orangu? Or or Orangeru. Orangeru. Interesting. Orangeru. No, he's not. He's really not. I don't guess we're going to stick around for a minute. You know, I'll tell you one Pokemon I really enjoy that I really like is Pissimian. Um, I like his fighting style. Like, he's got this coconut... <laughs> he likes his coconut and he uses it in battle. It's just awesome. He's probably... Well... He probably barely makes my top 10. But he is definitely a favorite. Orange or... Huh. Oh, is he? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Because I was thinking either rugby or football.
This move can't be used. It's recommended that this move is forgotten. Once forgotten, this move can't be remembered. Uh, okay. That's weird. That's... Maybe it's a move that can't be used in this generation? Good hit though. So, is Orange Root? the Alolan version of another Pokemon, or is he an original? Because he looks like... Wow, I don't think I've ever seen him before. <clears throat> Are they rare? to counter your boy to send me it. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I guess if they added Pissimia, they had to put him in there, huh? Hey, Waylon. Good to see you. Appreciate that. Yeah, because he, he's new to me. I, I've never seen him before. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I, again, I think it's just the wiring. It's good to see you, though, man. Evening. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to be on later. Uh, later at night, the connection seems to be a little bit more stable. Not a whole lot. But it's just it's the wiring in this place, man. I'm, maybe it's haunted. It could be haunted. Knock on wood. I don't know. I'm just I'm getting so tired of the back and forth with my main office, with Suddenlink. They, nobody wants to work with me. They don't care, man. They seriously don't care. And when you try to explain to them, explain to them that part of your revenue comes from a stable connection, you've got to have it. They don't care. I mean, it's like, how's the person supposed to live? And you know, the the main thing is that what does somebody do that works at home full time? You know, I feel sorry for any tenant. Because the wiring in these places are all the same. Um, a couple of suddenly guys have told me that they have the same problems in pretty much every other apartment. And if the property management doesn't want to invest in it, how does anybody work from home, especially during a pandemic? You know, it's just nuts. But no, it's definitely not wow. No, it's it's a it's a source problem. Um, and the source is the wiring in this place. Good thought though. Maybe one thing if you weren't paying for it. But yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. If it was free, I mean, like if I was at a hotel or something and it was that kind of Wi-Fi connection, I'm like, I mean, look, what am I going to do? You know? <laughs> but I pay, the full disclosure, I pay 65 a month for a 400 meg connection. But I can't even use it half the time. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna 
for the rest of my time here because I still got like two and a half months left on my lease. Um, I'm going to go ahead and downsize my connection to probably 100 megs or so because I mean, if I can't use it, you know, I can't even broadcast to 1080, which is the reason I got a 400 meg connection so I could broadcast really high quality content. But I can't do that right now. I'm still stuck at still stuck at 720 um, because it just it's not worth the aggravation. It's crazy. All right. Oh, we got Wizcash, and I already had him. So I think I will. I think I will. Hashtag you're getting reported. Rookity God, what's going on, buddy? Landlord should offer Wi-Fi built in. I agree. I agree. It really should be. But you know what? I'll be straight up honest. I'm out in technically kind of the boondocks of East Texas. So, aside from being near a university, they, again, they don't care. Alright, let's see. Oh, of course it's linked. Damn. This one's probably done. Yeah, dang it. I'm kind of hoping I get a shiny ride one. No, Comcast didn't stress this far. Mm -mm, no, suddenly pretty much monopolized everything. Oh, really? <laughs> I kind of wish I kind of had Comcast. Yeah, you gotta love, um... I don't really need to catch this guy. I don't know what I'm going to. Dude, that was awesome! Probably make camp here in a bit and get these guys something to eat. You know, that's the thing. Like, I wouldn't complain if my connection was slow. You know? Like, if I wasn't reaching my peak internet speed, um, that's fine. I mean, look, if, if even if I'm only reaching half, like half the time, that's fine. I can work with that, but everything just bottoms out. Like, it just bottoms out. Everything is gone. All the lights on the modem, except for one, the power light, just goes out. Everything. They've exchanged the modem five times. They've redone what, what they can on the ends of the connections of the, of the cabling. They've redone that twice. So, the only thing that really remains is the actual cabling in this place. The drop from the second floor is probably so eaten up and out of date that there's nothing they can do, according to the landlord's place, because they won't pay contractors to come in and update this wiring. It's crazy. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that the whole stream. Yeah, I remember X Xfinity is a uh, Comcast. That's what we had up in Arkansas.
Oh, can I get in on this? Dang! Golly, I don't have one yet. It's a melodic. Hey, this is Logan's. I'm getting in on this with with you, buddy. I'm gonna do uh, Zork. Why not? I really do like Zorark, though. I mean, like, because, like, I had seen him, but the shiny variant is really cool. -y. I still got to hyper train him a little bit, but. 400 a month? Security? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Especially since you, you work from home, too, don't you? You know who Zorak reminds me of? He's like a ninja... He's like a ninja Sonic the Hedgehog. It's kind of awesome, actually. I've been looking for a fully remote job for about two months. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Once I get to Tyler, I'm going to get into a temporary job. Probably a temporary storage job. And, um... Put in a few months there, but at the same time, look for a fully remote tech support job. Um, again, knock on wood, as long as the connection is decent. The, I've got a few places I'm looking at that are more up to date than where I'm at now. Uh, they were built sooner as compared to when this was built, so that ups my chances of getting a pretty decent place for the connection. I also want a dishwasher. I can deal like without a washer and dryer that's fine but a dishwasher <laughs> i need a dishwasher man and for the prices i'm looking at it could happen how I don't mind laundromats. I mean, laundromats would actually be a way to get me out of the house, you know? Especially if I have a remote job. It'd be a way to get me out. Because let's face it, if I have a remote job and I'm streaming and I do nothing but play video games all the time, I'm going to become an otaku. <laughs> it's a straight up otaku. I'm like right now I'm just I'm withdrawn you know I'm a bit of a recluse but because I have an outside job it gets me out uh, and because I I'm, I have a gal friend right now not a girlfriend but a gal friend we're not at that level yet who knows but um, you know I drive to Tyler every so often back and forth and I, I take a night take a night out do whatever but <laughs> you know you throw a you throw a remote job into it I'm a straight up a doctor man <laughs> But then again, who isn't these days, especially with the p pandemic, you know? <laughs> I left my house like six times since March. Dude, I feel you. No, there's nothing wrong with them to talk to. At least here in America. And, and over in Japan, nah, it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing, I think. From my understanding, anyway. I'm right there with you. I mean, look, I as much as I like people, I love engaging with you guys. But after doing customer service for the last 17 years, um, seeing the needy, greedy, complaining side of people day in and day out, 
I'm getting burnt out, and I'm only 35. You know, and that says something. I like people. I hate customers. <laughs> I, I hate to say it like that, but I like people, but I can't stand customers. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Corona, no thanks. <laughs> is that a... Oh, this is a two-headed guy. I didn't... Well, ah, that'll work. Uh, yeah... 85 to 90 percent of the time the customer is usually just a whiny little person i'll put it that way but again with that said i'm jaded so it's What the? Who is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm right there with you guys. Who is? That's a dope looking monkey, man. And that's a shiny Sylveon, too. I got one of those. I got one of those. <laughs> He's badass looking, too. Honestly, look, when it comes to designs, uh, especially in Pokemon, Game Freak, and Nintendo, there's some they mess up on. But I'll tell you what, if they ever, ever mess up on a Charizard, dude, you're going to see some uproar. <laughs> no pun intended. But I have yet to see a bad Charizard design. Even with Mega Evolution, even with Dynamax, um, you know, the special designs, they're still dope. Spyro? What? Dude, you got a... What kind of bear? I'm about to be a tasty little whistle. <laughs> Blank bear, dude. You need to take a picture of that, dude. Put it in put it in the Discord. Picker, it didn't happen. I love bears. Seriously. 800 pounds. For me, I, I know this is stupid sounding, but for me, dogs are nothing but, or bears are nothing but big dogs. They're just so awesome. Definitely my spirit animal. Also, if I was a part of a certain community, uh, liking bears would be a thing. Just saying. But I'm not, so I don't worry about it. <laughs> Dog that can kill you straight up. <laughs> yeah, dogs that stand to be like nine to ten feet tall when they're up on their hind legs. Am I getting close to that thing? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Essentially, what we're saying is risk your life to show us a picture. <laughs> 
Hunting prey is always winners. This territory is two heads off the bickering over which way to go. I guess we're doing a bunch of raids. Gets my legs in his mouth later. I'll snap a quick picture for Discord before he devours me whole. <laughs> Be sure to do that. <laughs> also, uh, email me your WoW uh, account information, right? I'll make sure your kids get it. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Uh, grass is psychic. You know what? I'm going to keep it. <laughs> you guys are rocking tonight. Thank you. I was feeling like crap earlier. I still am for the most part because this ear is killing me. Um, but y'all made this fantastic. As always. Ooh, Selby. I need to get my hands on a Selby. Zarud. Oh, that's who it is. You know what sucks? Is that a couple of months back, they did an event here in Pokemon Sword and Shield for, um... Um... Ah, oh, I forget their name. It was like a giant cat monkey electric type in raids. You couldn't catch them, but you had to defeat them. The whole community defeated it, matched a goal... And everybody with a Pokemon Home account that was linked to Pokemon Sword and Shield got a shiny version of that Pokemon. I never got one. I never got one. And I don't know why. It kind of sucks, but honestly, I'm not all up in arms about it. But I will say this, Pokemon Home... Is one of the best damn things that ever happened to the Pokemon community. That's purely my opinion, but it's a great hub for uh, games. Whoa, cool. Dang, good hit. <laughs> it is a big hit, big three headed oddish, isn't it? Flaming tapeworm! I, I can't, yeah, I, I can't battle with Santa Scorch, man. It reminds me too much of a tapeworm. I had one of those when I was younger. That sucked. I also had a ringworm. I remember having a ringworm, like, right here on my arm when I was, like, 12, 12 or 13. It was there for, like, um, I don't know, two months, maybe, before, the, you know, before they finally figured out what it was. It was just a circle. You know, it was just a circle. It had, like, some raised edges, and they figured out it was a ringworm. So, or maybe it wasn't a ringworm. It, it was some, some sort of worm. But I had to take meds for, like, two weeks to uh, um, get rid of it. Like, I don't remember it being painful or, you know, any bad side effects, but I just remember having it. I don't know. That was a long time ago, though. I don't really need an executor, but... Eh. Oh, speaking of which, so I just started Pokemon Journeys on Netflix. 
Um, I, I've seen a few episodes, mainly because of the Pokemon TV app, um, but I, I hadn't been able to see it from the beginning. And I gotta say, I really like it. I tweeted about it earlier, but um, it's got some serious fan service going on. But it's it's kind of awesome. It really is. Because you're seeing legendaries like left and right, you know? In the OG series, I mean, you'd see a legendary every so often, but I think I saw three or four legendaries within the first five episodes. It was crazy. And Ash finally caught a Dragonite, too. Which is awesome. Dedenne! I think. No. Nope. Yeah, it's linked. <laughs> One hunt. What really sucks though is that they've only got 12 episodes on Netflix right now. Yeah. Sega. This guy's kind of cute. I always thought it was cute. He reminds me of a, um... <laughs> he reminds me of a little gangsta. <laughs> like a Latin gangsta with a hoodie. <laughs> I just said, it's pretty stereotypical Latin, um... Uh, Latin gangster from films. Especially from, uh, next Friday? Or Friday after last? Something like that. I think it was I think it was the third Friday movie where he goes to stay at his cousins, um, and the next door neighbor like they're doing selling drugs and stuff like stuff like that, and uh, there's this one dude that's always got his hoodie down like over his eyes like right here, and he was he's always like talking talking shit. It's pretty funny, but that to it reminds me of random side note. Yeah, he's a he's a one star. But I don't think I have one yet. Yep, I didn't have one. If it remains still, it looks just like a real nut. It delights in surprising foraging Pokemon. <laughs> So any Pokemon looking to get a nut? Yeah, you won't find it with this guy. That's funny. Ooh, hello. Hey, hold up. Is that a... Grass type. What is it? Man, dang. I'm not even sure what that was. Well, this is like a G Max. Um... Oh, dang it. so annoying. Oh ah, well. Alright, let's go ahead and set up camp real quick. Get these guys something to eat. <laughs> I 
What's going on, Roger? <laughs> You is one of the cutest friggin' things, man. I swear. Let's see how everybody's doing here. Shifting, trying to stop it. Hey, he knocked it back. Are they? They're kicking it back now. They used to carry it back. What's up with that? I mean, it is kind of cool because, like, when some of these guys would carry the ball, it looked kind of awkward. But that's kind of awesome. Although, I kind of wish you would bring the ball back out automatically, but... It might be, especially since he can't carry it. That's a good point. Oh, look at that intercepted. <laughs> Roger's going to play for the Cowboys. And he'll probably be far better than most of them. <clears throat> look at, oh man, I love the little guy. Like seriously. It's like, I have a shiny Mew, but I prefer the original, man. I really do. Yo, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, all these guys are loved. That's awesome. What you gonna do? <laughs> All right. Oh, you got it. Give me that. There you go. It it is kind of demeaning to be playing um, catch with Mewtwo. Just saying, he's a highly intelligent creature. But you know, I guess if he likes it, he likes it. Let's go ahead and do some cooking. Get these guys something to eat. Oh, it said noodles. Man, I really need something to eat. Yeah, you know what? That'll work. A 
Agreed. Very agreed. Great comparison, too. Come on, get up there. Get up there. There we go. Fuzzy. Eh, not bad. I think I might have made um, third class on that. Or maybe secondary class. Military. Yeah, that's like third class. Alright, cool. There's another melodic. There's a centret. I don't think I actually have a centret yet. Or no, it's not a centret. That's a, um... Oh, this is a dude that changes into that big light show. Oh, man. <clears throat> That is a Mew. Yeah, 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 that's Roger. Yes, sir. No, it's not Caterpie, although it is a worm. I'm really bad with these new names. Like, seriously, really bad. Of course, you guys know that by now. I'm, I'm, I'm learning, though. I'm learning. Ooh, Scarlet. We haven't used her in a while. Why not? Blipbug. That's it. Good call, Florn. Oh, and I still need to rename uh, Heracross, too. No. <laughs> hey Goku, uh, it's Sword and Shield. Although this is Sword. There, there's actually fuzzy. There's a thousand now, or over a thousand at this point. But there's definitely at least four hundred bug types. Yeah, dude, it's been it's gotten crazy since the first generation, or the second, or the third. Actually, let's do Thunderbolt. Toxitricity is definitely a new favorite. He is a really... He's one of the most original they've come up with. In my opinion, anyway.
Oh, 893. Gotcha. Well, it's getting there. Good lord. Man, what? I mean, we're going to be able to get some serious hits in, but man, she's going to be hitting hard. Storm is raging. Twenty, thirty, fifteen hundred. <laughs> You're probably not wrong. <clears throat> Actually, I would think by twenty thirty they may have Pokemon in VR. Just saying. It's just like I was talking with doctors the other night, and um, we were talking about. Um, his kids and World of Warcraft. You know, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna try to get his kids into it. And a lot of parents have done that. They try to get them into their, uh, their kids into their favorite games. But I was commenting. I uh, said, "Yeah, but by that time, it'll probably be in VR." <laughs> of course, I say that. But hey, VR Pokemon would be cool. But I also fear that it would be way too addictive. I mean, way too addictive. And that's the thing about VR. The more advanced it becomes, the more powerful it becomes, the more of an addiction it could be. Because, let's face it, if you're in a video game that you have loved your whole life, and you are able to literally immerse yourself and deep dive into it with sounds, smells, you know, like you're actually there, why the hell would you want to go back to your own life? I'm just saying. I mean, if you have a family, obviously that's something different, but for people like me, that there's not really, you know, I don't have kids, I'm not married, you know, aside from streaming and work and uh, some friends and potential girlfriend, I mean, <laughs> why go back? <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you could be a Pokemon master, man. Or you could be a paladin wielding the light and defeating enemies left and right, you know? Or you could be Junkrat in Overwatch. I believe these to be valid points. <laughs> That's why you're not getting me. <laughs> nice. I think I have one of these, but... No, oh, not getting it right now. I'll tell you that much. Streaming in VR is a thing. I was hoping I'd be able to do that. But, again, my connection. I, I really, I can't commit to a whole lot right now, unfortunately. I can barely commit to my own streaming schedule without getting interrupted. My computer is VR ready. Um, but I also have yet to invest in a, in a VR set. Hey, Logan, I got another one of yours. 2050, real plenty of work. See, I don't doubt it either, because the world in Ready Player One, um, droughts, famine, wars, like everybody's clustered into these big cities. There's not a whole lot of suburb left. Um, so everybody's clustered. People fight for internet connections because everybody's a part of the Oasis. Um, it's a great book. Ready Player Two comes out in November, by the way, for those that are interested. The movie is set to be out by 2022, um, but it's fantastic. Looks VR Pikachu. 
<laughs> it, it's funny though because in Ready Player One, they elect Will Wheaton um, as president. So that's that's relative. Okay, that's weird. Well, whatever. Why can't you select a Pokemon as on a battle team? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh well, anyway. Of course, then again, the stupidest thing is that I haven't organized my Pokemon yet, so hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's hope we don't ever get a game in VR like Sword Art Online. Yeesh. Hack. Nope. <laughs> I say legit is the note card of VR. Agreed. Alright, Fuzzy. No problem. Butterfree! Butterfree is one of the cuter Pokemons. Big time. Pokemon. I just said Pokemons. Plural. I might as well be saying Pokemon. Yo! A Dynamax Rotom. Nice. Rotom is one of the most awesome species I've ever seen. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it's a Pokemon you battle with, but that's also your Pokedex. <laughs> Super Center washing machine. <laughs> True that. Actually, Rotom could be a um, a bit of a point of reference to Big Brother that can take over anything and everything, including your appliances. You know what I've yet to see? I'm not even. They probably haven't added them to Sword and Shield. I'm not even sure they would. But, um... And I don't remember if, like, if they're accounted for each Pokedex number or not. I don't think they are, but Unknown? The different variants of Unknown? I think, I think Unknown just counts for one Pokedex entry, don't they? And it's not like 26 different ones? But I don't think they've added them to Sword and Shield either, because I haven't seen any of
28 but one entry. I figured. I figured. Although, if they count a one for each entry, they'd be well on their way further to 1,000. Oh, also, side note. So, you guys obviously might notice the new overlay, which I'm really digging. I've been working on this thing for a couple of weeks. It's a, it's cleaner, um, and it, it also looks a lot better, in my opinion. And I did this down here, that little logo there. <laughs> I think it's a nice touch. Um, I still got to work on it, so that's why you guys haven't seen any chat pop up. Because I got I to gotta get some of the layout right. But, it turned out pretty awesome, and I'm very proud of it. It's a lot cleaner to me. Also, it matches the rebrand I've done here on the channel with the uh, Panda logo. It's really cool. Uh, no. Hey, there's a Eevee. Oh, it's red locked. Of course it's red locked. There's a Cinescorch. Nope. Dang it. Got a good amount of raids going on. Thank you, Florian. I appreciate it. Like I said, I like it. It took me a little bit to work on, but it turned out pretty well. I mean, who sucker punches a chancy? Just saying. <laughs> that's that's pretty. That's pretty funny to think about, though. Like you walk up into some Pokemon Center, right? The chancy's working there, probably, you know, helping out, pushing a pushing a Pokemon somewhere, taking them to a heal machine, and all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, you just have some some patient will just walk up and sucker punch. <laughs> Poor guy. But then again, that is a bit of a testament to uh, all the nurses out there that take the abuse they take, that's for sure. Dynamax Urshifu. He is a very cool, very cool design. I am very happy with him. They did a great job on him. Drop kick from behind. <laughs> oh man.
got him. I already have a chance at you, but whatever. Is that a Blastoid? Oh, it's Raid Locked! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> Man, I hate when people... Ugh. Ow. That sucks. I don't normally wish things on people, but whoever Raid Locks this thing... I hope they're taking it on solo and they don't get it. Hey, there's a hunter. Dang. some wishing pieces. Although I can't get any because I've been give I've been giving all my watts to uh um Dang. to the dojo. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Ah, crud, hold on. There we go. Uh, let's go to... Yeah. Well, it's like all the raids stopped. Hey, hold up, here's one. What do we got? Ah. No, alright. Actually, I don't think I have one. So this might work out. Hey, Logan, you got in. Cool. I was about to say it's full up fast, and I was hoping you were going to be able to make it in. Maractus, that's it. Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm tiring out. But it's been a pretty solid stream. Knock on wood. Thank you, guys, for that. It's been very awesome. Uh, tomorrow night, as long as I'm up to it, my ears doing better. Tomorrow night we're back with uh, Halo, so we'll be continuing Halo. Uh, next week at some point, we will be picking up Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, so. We'll have that going on, along with Xenosaga and more World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Pokemon, you know, the usual.
hate to be able to never look at see. I, uh, I have high hopes for you. I have high hopes for you. <laughs> oh wow, I'm not even gonna get hit at. Am I? There we go. Got it. Yes. Another Pokedex entry. Cool. Um, although I wanted to read the entry, but I kind of skipped it, unfortunately. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's linked. Dang. Well, let's head over here. Azumarill. Cool. Um. I'm gonna use Judge on this one. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's hair crossing. We can take with this. I forget, is dark effect against fairy or is it the other way around? I think it's the other way around. Fairy against dark is super effective. Because I was going to go with Urshifu, but I couldn't remember. Shiny, 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 shiny. And it's not shiny. Damn it. I just realized Azumarill is an Easter egg with rabbit ears. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what he is. <laughs> Cannot unsee it. Ooh, that's not hard.
I actually probably should have went with Judge on this. But, that's alright, I think we got it. So Sap Sipper takes any grass type moves, nullifies any damage, and it raises its attack power. <clears throat> Interesting. What are we doing? I think Surfetch is going to get the final blow on this one. At least that's what it's looking like. Oh no! I was wrong. All right, let's see if we can get him. I'm not sure if I had an engine marrow or not. I 
I did not. Spends most of its time in the water. On sunny days, it floats on the surface of the water and sunbathes. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see if anything good pops up here. Is that it? Hold up! Oh, that's a mill tank. And it's locked. Dang it. What in the world? Oh, can't get in. Hmm. Alright, well. Worth a shot. Alright, well you guys look. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, let me go ahead and... Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, forgive me for the audio during this stream. Again, I really can't use headphones because of my ear. I'll probably be like that for a few days. Um, just because of the pressure, I, it, it's unbearable. I can't do it. So, uh, hopefully everything sounded good, though. I'm glad some of you guys, uh, you know, you guys like the uh, overlay. I'm still working on it, so bear with me. Um, but I hope you guys had a good time tonight. I apologize for any disconnections. Unfortunately, that will be an ongoing issue from here forward. Probably until I can get out of this place. Um, and it may occur fairly often. So just a heads up. But with that, uh, I'm doing a bit of a two-strike system. If I disconnect, I'll reconnect. Uh, when I get back up, I'll try to stream again. And then if it keeps disconnecting after that, I'll probably call it a night. Unfortunately, it's just worth the, it's the, the trouble. It's crazy. But anyway, with that said, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. It's back to work for me. I took today off because of my infection. Um, but I gotta get back to work, pay some bills. So with that, uh, again, next week we're going to be hitting some Horizon Zero Dawn, either in videos or on stream yet. I'm not sure. I, I might record it, to be honest, and then upload it to YouTube. Um, I'm also currently working on some recordings for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for the story mode, because I never got to finish it. So you guys will see uploads to that on YouTube and here on Twitch. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Um... With that, that's about it. So, but thankfully, this last portion of the stream went fairly well, fairly easy, and uh, we didn't disconnect. Um, and it was a really good night. So, thank you guys for that. I'm going to get off here, get something to eat. I'm going to lie down for a few hours, put some more drops in my ears, and fight this thing as much as I can. Um, and go from there. So, if you guys don't mind, send some good vibes my way. I can do some good thoughts uh, with everything that's going on it's crazy um but i appreciate you guys and hopefully everything is well in your lives and remember you're awesome please remember you're awesome uh because you really are and you never should let the world tell you otherwise um stay safe stay sane and i'll see you guys tomorrow night for halo uh, and hopefully it'll be a decent stream so we'll see hey baggins yeah you kind of caught me on the tail end here dude i was really sorry um but uh there's something else I was going to say, but I've told you what it is. I'll tweet it later, or I'll put it in Discord if I think about it. All right? I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you next time. Peace. I remember now. Check this out. I don't know if you guys saw this in the back, but that Harley Quinn poster. I've had that for a bit. My roommate was using it. I've added it to the background for the time being, before I move anyway. But that's one of my favorite posters. I remember what, what I was going to show you because there was a new edition, and I couldn't remember what it was, but that's what it is. And I like it. So anyway, I just thought I'd read that up. You guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> I remembered. Peace.